Just one day after dropping out of the race for the White House, President Biden is facing calls from some Republicans to resign as Vice President Kamala Harris moves to secure the votes of delegates. Some Democratic voters already rallying behind Vice President Kamala Harris in her new bid for the White House. The Harris campaign says the vice president raised nearly $50 million in grassroots donations since President Biden withdrew from the race on Sunday. But she will need to lock up more than 1,900 delegates to earn her party's nomination at next month's convention. The delegates will have the opportunity to cast their delegates in a roll call vote for whomever. A growing number of Democrats are endorsing Harris, including Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro and Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, both potential running mates. West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin suggests Democrats hold a mini-primary to select a more moderate candidate. Neither side can win without the sensible, moderate middle. They can't do it. But yet no one's going that direction. Meanwhile, Politico reports President Biden made the decision to withdraw after going through data and fundraising numbers with his closest aides. Biden plans to address the country later this week but he's facing calls from some top Republicans in Congress to immediately resign. He doesn't have the ability to be president of the United States if he can't run for president of the United States. The Democratic National Committee says it plans to meet on Wednesday to discuss the rules for how it will move forward choosing a candidate. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News.